Oh boy. Oh boy. E King Fight News. Shout out to the brother uh, Dante Boxing. And shout out to 78. I just heard about this news. And this is the kind of shit that make me want to do a video right here. Lomachenko versus Guillermo Rigondeau is finally official. This is a fight that we've been talking about for years. Literally. Literally years. We've been talking about this fight. You know? And it's it's really great to see it finally happen. It's going to fucking happen. I, I it's it's something and it's something we all want to see. Any any legitimate real boxing fan wants to see this fight. If they don't want to see this fight, then get the fuck out of here with your shit. Just get the fuck out of here. Get, go go to fucking MMA or something. But but don't be a boxing fan. This just not for you. That's just not for you. This is what being a boxing fan is all about. When you see a guy that legitimately never never lost his spot on the pound for pound ladder in Guillermo Rigondeau, who should be ranked number one, number two, or number three, arguably. Arguably, all the top fighters have ran away from this man. Literally ran away. All the top guys in his weight division at 122 pounds. They ran up to 126 or 130. And they said, you know what? Forget about that title. <laughs> Forget about that shit. We'll leave it. We'll leave it where, where, uh, where, where Rigondeau is. You know, he can collect the belts and shit. And then, you know, fucking, you know, a lot of bullshit with with Frampton and and Quig and Mares, Leo Santa Cruz, his father doesn't want wants him to duck the fight, and he's all oh, my dad doesn't want the fight. <laughs> I don't know, man. Yeah, these these fighters have every excuse in the book not to fight Rigondeau. And it's it's just refreshing. It's just refreshing to finally fucking see someone step up and um take on the challenge. Take on the 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 Cuban export, the man who who legitimately stole uh Nonito Donaire's soul. He, they, he fucking snatched his fucking soul in that fight. And we haven't seen the same Nonito Donaire since. Uh, you know, Guillermo Rigondeau is one of these special fighters that has not taken a, lo- a loss yet. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to take a real special fighter to beat him. And he's daring to be great here. He truly is daring to be great for uh, a guy like Rigondeau to step up eight pounds... Eight pounds in one fight on one night and take on uh, legitimately the best 130-pound fighter out there is uh, is quite remarkable. I have I haven't seen uh, a jump like that in a really long time. We haven't seen this shit in a really long time. Eight-pound jump. Um, haven't seen it. Haven't seen it to fight Lomachenko at his natural weight division. Haven't seen it. And and of course. Uh, both of these guys are two-time gold medalists. Man, the prestige of this fight is through the roof. I can't wait to see it. Shout out to Lomachenko. Shout out to Rigondeau. Both of these guys uh, really had to uh, put themselves on the line to, to make it happen. Especially Rigondeau, who's really taking all the risk here. Uh, he, he had to conform to Lomachenko's demands. And he basically said, you know what? You want me to come to 130? Fuck it. Well, I'm, I'm going to do it. And he's the one conceding the weight. Uh, and hopefully he's making that, he's taking that big risk for obviously a big reward to take down a guy that literally, the it's like 50% of, of people think Andre Ward's number one pound for pound. And uh, the other 50% think uh, it's either, it's either Lomachenko. And I, I guess, I guess that's maybe down to 30% think it's Lomachenko, and there's 20% that would say, hey, it's Terrence Crawford. Just based on my observation. So this would definitely, if Lomachenko were to win this fight, it would give him more justification in that spot. It wouldn't wouldn't solidify his position because he still has a loss against Orlando Salido that he basically is... his management doesn't seem to want to go down that road, for whatever reason. Uh, it could be it could be the difficulty of Orlando Salido 
uh, basically giving him a hard time in negotiations, but um, that remains to be seen. And ultimately, uh, when you have a loss, you have to make whatever concession you need to make in order to, um, to ensure that uh, you avenge that loss. In boxing, you have to avenge your losses if you want to call yourself a great fighter. So, uh, the fight is made. Lomachenko versus Rigondeaux, who you got? The King fight news, man.